Okay, let's see. Kelvin. Okay. Without pause, there are many details to consider in astronauts, and every decision matters. But time is in your hands, and you can pause or slow time to take a breath whenever you like. Alright? Okay, she's kinda cool. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, can I have one without? Thank you. I guess we were lucky with that one character. She was really cool. Oh boy. Interesting. Um, she's 18. What about her age? Can I make her older? 18 is young. Maybe that's just standard age. You're barely an adult. <clears throat> the Ayotemiwa Matek takes a glance at your chart, then at your body, then back at your chart. Immunosuppressed, low bone density, hypovolemic standard condition for a young spacer on Kalex station, born and raised as you were in the weak microgravity of a 33 kilometer asteroid. Okay. Doc says the insomnia is catching up with you. It's chronic around here. Something likely caused by radiation and lack of sunlight. Your eyes work well enough for now, but they're still bad and they're getting worse. 18 years old and rapidly approaching middle age. Okay. Your muscles are feeble by Mars standards. They wouldn't stand a chance on Earth. No shit, you say. You're no Earther. And you will never be. You never will be. A heart monitor beeps and then beeps again. The board tech scribbles a few notes and grants your work permissions, healthy enough to strip holes in the boneyard, despite everything. It sounds like heavy work, but okay. Fine with you, closer to the ships after all, and you're going to get one. Got a biological father, Jeffrey Flowers, Melanie Hart, criminal from Vessel, from Vessel. I think we'll save on some money. Shipbreaking is a nearly impossible grind, but you know with enough discipline you can leave each month with a little extra cash socked away. So you cut back on your drinking, swap a few kiosk meals for trenchers, chow, even take an extra shift here and there. It's not much, but by the end of the year, you've got something that's beginning to resemble a nest egg. Um. Let's try this one. Zau, Zau, Zau Ye. Zau Ye? A woman calls. You, you stop what you're doing, mouth dry. So do the dozen or so other day workers in the cramped dormitory, a silver class econ apartment. Econ apartment, okay. In the ASC barracks. That's the signal from the next pot over. They're coming outside the door and up. The access corridor, you hear the clatter of Mac boots marching in double time. A half dozen of your neighbors flee through the back door. Moments later, you hear a series of 
sharp cracks and screams, shocker rounds, you hope. You've got a moment to act, what do you do? Fake a pressure alarm, maybe. In some stations, hackers are monitored with the same vigilance as states seeking nuclear capabilities back on old, on old Earth. Do they have the technology needed to perform a cyber attack? Do they have the motivation, the skills, the opportunity, the support network? This is a good example of why such precautions exist. It's the work of 10, 10 seconds to isolate the corridor to the AOSX are advancing down. It's three keystrokes to trigger a vacuum alarm. You hear the thuds as the bulkheads close, trapping them inside. Okay. By the time the psych stop can untangle the mess you leave behind, the raid will be neutered by social embarrassment if nothing else. Some of your doormates take advantage of the confusion to slip away, hopefully to a less policed area of the station, if such a thing exists. In the barracks. That was interesting. Um, let's save some money. Selecting a ship ends career history. Uh, we're almost we're thirty years. Let's go. You happen across an ad for a heavily used Arioka 276A endurance salvage pod. There's not much there, but maneuvering jets and life support. But it can fly. The endurance model of the TU was built for longer range salvage operations. And so it is equipped with a bed and wash facilities. The one for purchase is in a very rough shape, however, it, it would require some serious elbow grease to bring it back to form. OG so re re register has given this vessel an OSR, of, an OSR of moderate, indicating that it is legal for sale, but does not possess ship systems beyond basic travel and life support. Okay, take it. You're now the proud owner of a TU-76A and you can now reach some of the outer derelicts beyond the watchful eye of the yard masters. Now that you're on your own terms, your next move is up to you. Maybe score a valuable part or two for resale or reuse. Pull down a platinum tier payout on a geek or maybe even discover a ship discarded before it's time. Whatever the case, it beats sweating in a suit all day for someone else's profit. Hell yeah. Time to get out there and find your future. Okay. Uh, that... Oh. Press space or the triangle play button. Oh yeah, okay. It's a bit hard to see. What are we doing? Click your portrait or press I to take a look at the items you have. That's me. Get dressed. Okay. I've got one shoe. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. Here we go. Collect your tote bag. Pressure suit and helmet from the nearby wreck. Let's 
cigarette box. Oh, there we go. Inventory. Uh, pressure suit. It's the crown. Oh, that's interesting. Cannot slot in the middle blob items, yellow coveralls. An econo-sized, apparently limited edition, corporate branded shoulder bag. Oh, I see. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> she looks shocked. Minor pain. Okay, slight pain. Okay, oh. The door to Kalak station slides open and you're greeted by the familiar aroma of station vendor fare. Spot prawn, stir fry in suja curry, kebab of, ki of chicken in jaji, spice rub, shakuan beef with pink peppercorn. Your head knows that the meat is aquaponic or lab grown or worse. But your heart tells you that anything prepared by human hands is better than trencher's chow. So what is trencher's chow? Anyway. Tired looking spacers circulate between the bunks. The refuel kiosk and the breaker yard moving in and out of the gossamer haze of cigarette smoke that is a permanent fixture on the station. The smokers are Sungera, Sungera Viceroy's, the breaker brand of choice. Folks here will chain smoke them unfiltered no matter how many times Ayotamiwa exacts, exacts find them for overworking the CO2 scrubbers. Nah. Your new ship is waiting in port, not far from the kiosk hub and scrap shops. Once you find it, you can finally undock from this rock. If you want to strip ships for shell salvage, all you need are the hand tools you own. But you need a welder to start remodeling and repairing holes. We need a welder, I see. Either way, if you're lucky, you can finally start making a living, something beyond the corporate sponsored rat race of breaking ships for daily wage. A life you can call your own. What's this? A suja card. Train. Consumption during the festival would not come close to testing Hanzo's sustainability, Locus added. Why don't we keep running it year round? People are talking, I think? That's a challenge I'd get out of bed for. The fortune stick killer claimed another two victims of this morning in Tharsis. Two street children were found dead in Hydean, mutilated post mortem by cow. Chim bamboo fortune sticks. Police were unable to identify the victims. The murder came as setback to the police. Jesus. Okay, I want to trade with this one. Oh, that's expensive. It's an expensive world here. We don't have that much money, but we might need food or I don't know. Sincha card. Train. It's expensive. Street food. And Toma protein noodles with nest egg, herb and dairy flakes. Like new. I want to see what these people have to say. They're watching the news. Oh. A conduit. Arian Gordon. Can I talk to him? Uh. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Look at all of these choices. Mention headline. Wait for NPC to reply. Um, he's not. Okay, he doesn't want to talk, I think. What's up? They see us as a stranger. Okay, we're just being ignored. Uh, we're not um, interesting enough for them. Can I talk to somebody? I'm kind of surprised at how much choice we have. Trent Lawson. Oh. There's no intimate needs. What? He tells a dark joke. Uh... Remember cheating death? If a genesis thinks back at the time they cheated death and tries to make themselves feel more accomplished. Uh, do I have a... S Let's offer him a smoke. Ava Genesis feels a connection with one another. He accepts the cigarette and Ava Genesis offered light. Okay, we're connecting with somebody. With Jacob Brady. Eight times what? Glutton, old aged. Nostalgic contact is noticed. My mild hypercapnia. What is a what is hypercapnia? Let's see. Ava Genesis feels vaguely unwell and flushed. Why am I feeling unwell and flushed? I don't know. What's happening? Experienced a nicotine buzz. Okay. Let's just have a quiet smoke break. You know, we don't have to say anything. We're just smoking together. Making friends, maybe? Ava and Genesis... Or uh, Ava, Genesis and Jacob Brady enjoy their smoking session in comfortable silence. I like those people. I like silence. Jacob Brady now considers Ava, Genesis an acquaintance. Oh, we can hire people, but... Um... Um, what should we talk about? Ask how they are, maybe? There's no intimate needs right now. Hey, look at us. A nod. Okay. Jacob. 
Jacob Brady. What is she doing? <laughs> the backpack, backpack on the floor. Okay. Um, where is my ship? We have a ship somewhere. Oh, this. Toggle and tear. Press X to see how, how worn out items are. Oh, I see. Um. Oh, that doesn't. Okay. Click on the nav station to restore it. Removing where it tear. The nav station. Let's just stay. Uh, restore. Where's she going? We're going somewhere. Oh, do you have a maintain? So the uh, graphics are kind of something to get adjusted to or used to, but it looks really cool. I wish I uh, knew a little bit of Chinese, to be honest. I think it's Chinese. Use the nav station to take a look around local space. Uh, you sit. Oh, we're sitting in. Oh, that's cool. Don't crash. Do's and don'ts. Don't crash. It's a really cool game. It's very cool. I love the art. I love the direction, the way it looks. I have no clue what's happening here. We might crash the first time. We'll see. Is there a way for me to keep that paper? Okay, yeah. Okay, so the docking checklist. Um, click target. Rotate to BRG equals zero, aka 360. Fly to target. Leave room to slow down. When RNG less than five kilometers, switch to docking screen. Okay, so first we click on the target, then we fly to it, and then when we come into the region of five kilometers, the radius of five kilometers, we switch to docking screen. And then we do comms hill ship. Select target ship, request clearance, line up rings, approach at uh, I can't read that, V-R-E-L, 100 milliseconds, when light is green, click clamps. Bishmaratnaya shots for everybody. <laughs> I don't know where the where should we go. Okay, so we have a bunch of targets and ship. A bunch of ships. We can go anywhere. We have here ships. How big is this game, I wonder? Let's just go somewhere. I don't know what it is. Can I save? Oh, uh, save game. Don't crash to do. Don't crash. So it's 2079. And it's the 25th, 25th of October. Or uh, August. 
Isn't that weird that October is the 10th month, but October itself means the 8th month? What's happening? Maybe it's already bust. It's uh, funny because, oh no, it's just not working. Uh... Okay, now it's working. Um, somebody wants to talk about law enforcement officer. I, I want to, I want to try and fly somewhere. Okay. Let's try it out first. Disengage clock docking clamp. I'm not quite sure. Uh, toggle modes. A quest docking clearance. Okay. Clearance available. And press the clams button. Jeffrey keeps wanting to talk to me, but maybe later. Okay. I'm trying to do something here. Leave. Can you go away? Okay. Clams. Nav controls, proximity warning. Click on the white diamond labeled OKLG OK to target it. Oh, that's the diamond. Okay, I see. Press Q to spinning counter. Okay, I see. Oh, I'm going way too fast. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm uh, hold R until the stop shit. Okay. It's been stopped. Aim at OKLJ. Okay. Calibrate rear thrust. Press the S or down arrow to thrust backward. Blacking out, let's say. Uh... <laughs> I think, uh, I think um, um, my character blacked out. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see, continue. Uh, switch to com controls. Okay. Um, request. Clear. Talking clearance. Available. <clears throat> Claps. Okay. Ooh. Ah, zero. Oh. What's happening? Uh some com buttons I'm uh stuff is happening right now I'm Like hill ship. Um, this is way too far away. Um, why is it there? I'm targeting this one. Controls. It's all the way there, but I'm dying, I think. I, how am I doing? Why is there so much CO2 outpour? Um, I mean, it's supposed to work. Is that the nearest one? I don't think that is the nearest one, but apparently it is. That's way too far. Um, hill ship. This one, yes. Ship status. Um, initiate set docking guidance use flight controls oh I see Oh. Oh, there we go. Am I docked now? No, I'm not. Did I dock or what's happening? Do I have to?
No docked vessel. When the dunk I'm climbs is green. How do we know that? Isn't it? Is this... Oh, we... Okay, I see. Gotta slow down a little bit. I don't even think she can touch a button. I don't know if we can explore anything. The clamps on your dock engage and your hull resonates like a struck gong. While your sensors can sc scan the vessel for data, you close your eyes and imagine the fortune that could awake you on the other side. I don't know, we're half dead maybe. Perhaps you found a racing skiff, a nimble vessel with a lightweight hull pushed around by a top of the line RCS package and a four can Mayura Hydra intake regulator. Or maybe you stumbled on a multi cabin pleasure yacht, an elite catabaran complete with a full bar and corridors. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> or maybe it's just a dead freighter, a decades old Testudo hauler packed with trash and sporting a giant hole where the reactor used to be. This is a junkyard after all. Space safe and vacuum ready. Um, but we're low on oxygen. And, uh, I don't know, is there, oh, I see, uh, that's not what I meant. Um, is there something happening with the, got the cooler here, the wall light. It's all just really trashy here. Transponder. Ship battery. There's something up with the... She's nearly dying and I, I, I don't know why. Maybe I should have patched up the ship first. There's something wrong can't just I, there's just no way for me to see what what's happening i mean i can't imagine there will be any the air pump is damaged let's repair that one if you can missing an item is a motor floor is patched yeah well i i I've, not so sure this is a good idea. Um, I don't see anything. Lamp is off. Uh, toggle power. Can you turn it on? Small electronic parts. I'm not quite sure what we're looking for here. Bunch of trash. Just pick up it up. Just pick something up. Trash. Bulkhead bin. Parts, pick it up. Inventory. There's nothing in there. Uh, oh, there it is. The ground has trash, a spare screen. What 
What do we need? Spare screen. Trash. Damaged. And then two canister. A motherboard. Restore that one. I'm blacking out slowly but surely. Okay. able to comply um yeah i don't know really know what to do so let's maybe go back gotta restore this one as well let's see if we can get back safely oh we're just uh, spinning in the space now that's dangerous. I shouldn't be doing that. There we go. Not too fast, maybe. Oh, yeah. Game over. Okay. I died. <laughs> 